monitoring the horse on the treadmill. During all gallop work on the treadmill, the horse needs to be closely monitored to ensure the stress level is appropriate. The horse's heart rate is monitored throughout the work and during recovery, and the lactate can be taken post-exercise. Throughout the gallop, the heart rate should remain fairly level over the time period. Remember, there is a linear relationship between heart rate and workload, or speed on the treadmill. So as the treadmill speed is constant during the gallop, then the workload is constant. So heart rate should also be constant. If the heart rate is continually climbing or increasing, this is what we call cardiovascular drift, and it indicates the horse is not coping with the work. This would be a sign that the horse should not do any further gallop work for that training session. If you look at the graph, it's illustrating the presence of cardiovascular drift during the three minute gallops on the treadmill. A and B represent different levels of drift with C representing the normal response. Recovery heart rate is also a valuable tool for monitoring performance on the treadmill. A heart rate that does not recover is another indication that the horse is not coping well with the training intensity. The monitoring of recovery heart rate is an important tool in interval training. If after the first interval, the heart rate is not returning to the recovery mark within a designated time, then the second interval should not be attempted. Generally, in treadmill interval work, a recovery period of 1.5 minutes is used during which the horse is walked at zero grade and in this time, the heart rate should be reduced to approximately 110 beats per minute. And if you look at the figure, it shows the typical heart rate responses during rest, work and recovery. If you look at the graph, you can see in the first phase there, then the heart rate is sitting at approximately just below 80 beats per minute. But it's nice and level while they're resting, right? A little higher than what we talk about a resting heart rate, but of course the horse is anxious about the work that they're going to be doing. At the beginning of exercise, you can see that the heart rate increases rapidly and then goes through a slow phase where it climbs slowly up to the heart rate for that particular workload. And you can see that the horse is adjusted because the heart rate has leveled out. So we don't have any of that cardiovascular drip. And then in the recovery period, you can see that the heart rate drops very rapidly in that first two to three minutes, which indicating that the horse is coping well with the work. If we then look at the next figure, it shows a typical heart rate responses of a horse during three one minute gallops on the treadmill at 32 kilometers an hour at six degrees grade. Again, if you look at this graph, you can see that at the beginning of each exercise bout, the heart rate increases very steep, and then there's this leveling out over the one minute gallop, and then each recovery period, the heart rate drops very, very quickly, right down below that 100 beats per minute, indicating that the horse is coping with the exercise. Then it plateaus out, and then the beginning of the next one minute gallop, again, increases dramatically, levels out, and then in the recovery, again, it drops below that 100 beats per minute, again, indicating the horse is coping well with the exercise. And then in the third and final gallop is the same pattern. Heart rate increases dramatically with the beginning of exercise, plateaus out, and then drops quickly in the recovery period. So in each of those gallops, you can see from the heart rate responses that the horse is coping very well with the exercise session.